All right, you guys, welcome back to another Project Spot J. And for today's project, we got a product review. Um, so this is the uh, Android unit, cheap, generic eBay um, Android unit. And this one is, of course, touchscreen. Uh, supposedly, it's on a 9.1 update software, whatever that is. But um, that's what it is. So here you have your menu to your apps and press home that's how the home screen looks like so here it has like a splitometer pretty much just telling you how fast you're going but mine somehow i got it in uh, kmh and it's not miles per hour so this is your screensaver mode um, you could adjust how long before it goes into screensaver mode. Uh, so yeah, this is how it looks like. You could change the backgrounds, um, not this background, but the background to this, um, your home screen pretty much. But once it goes to screensaver mode, it, or I'll let it change back, but it will just switch to that blue screen. Um, as you guys can see, I got this little like black cloth. So that is just to hide the brightness of it, especially when you're driving at night, it's just a, uh, um, bright blue screen and you could dim it down um, adjust the brightness of it but it was still um, all the way down it was still too bright for me so I just kind of taped a little cloth over it and yeah so even um, at night you can still see it and I'll show you guys in the next clip but yeah um, these are touch so you can still move um, your radio your setting your videos and of course uh, I think those are pre programmed already so it comes like that um, if you press on here it'll take you straight to your GPS so whatever um, GPS app, app that you want to use right now I got it hooked up to Waze it takes a second to load up um, it could connect to your Wi-Fi or it could connect to your mobile hotspot. So right now I'm at home, so it's connected to my Wi-Fi. Yeah, so as you guys can see, it takes a while. And over here you have your um, little buttons, power button, home button, your back button, and your volume control. Of course, these are your GPS too. You can also tap that too, and it'll take, to, take you to your GPS. So other than that, my only downside is that I really just bought this um, just to use as a very basic um, stereo, mainly because the factory one that comes in the car uh, doesn't have Bluetooth. And I upgraded this one thinking it'll be useful um, with the Bluetooth, with navigation, all that, you know, all the fancy stuff uh, for cheap. But um, the Bluetooth has been cutting out on me sometimes or some days. It'll just randomly just turn off by itself. Um, I try to fix it and it'll just say um, you have to turn the Bluetooth back on. But there's really no way that you could manually turn it off or on um, here. So, after letting it sit for a day, the next day I'll just start the car and then magically it'll just work again. Um, and period periodically, like throughout um, driving, like sometimes you'll just lose connection and then it'll reconnect. You'll lose connection and it'll reconnect. So, um, I guess that's, you know, the downside of getting a cheap eBay stereo. Um, but, yeah. Um... Other than that, besides that, I really have no other complaints um, besides being able to adjust the brightness of it. Um, and yeah, the Bluetooth. Um, everything else seemed to work fine. I haven't really like gone through all the apps and stuff, but you know, YouTube works and all that stuff too. Let me try to see if I can load it up.
of course it takes a while being a um being a you know cheap unit so let me throw in a random video and see so if any of you guys watch donut um videos a couple of months ago we made a video about yeah. surprising celebrity cars and you guys seem to like it a lot so we decided to come back for round two, only this time we're focusing on the world of sports folks, AKA superstar. So yep, that is another option. You can still have it playing in the background while you navigate your other apps. And another thing is the volume. Um, one thing with the volume is um, you can't really adjust your balances like your front speakers, your rear speakers. Um, let me, let me try to show you guys. So here for this one, you have two different settings. Uh, one for settings for basically your Android unit, right? And then the other setting is your car setting. Um, basically, yeah. So this allow you to adjust your, like your, um, speakers and whatnot. And here it doesn't really allow you to adjust or this unit doesn't allow you to adjust um if you want your rear speakers to be louder than the front um or if you want it to fade to the right or the left uh, it doesn't really have that setting so that's uh, a downside because i like to um offset my speakers where the rear are just a little bit louder than the front and what else uh the gps connection works perfectly um i actually got it mounted under the dash and it's still able to uh, detect everything so that's pretty cool uh rear camera work let me switch it to rear oh it's actually a neutral sorry there you go rear so back camera turns on clear picture which is a good thing All right, so with this, it does have uh, the mirroring app and whatnot, but from what I found out, the mirroring app, the one that comes factory, uh, doesn't really work that well with um, iPhones if you have an iPhone. I don't have an Android unit, so I can't tell you guys for sure, but with the iPhone, um, it comes with two USB plugins. So the best way that I would say how to uh, mirror it is just to plug it in and it will mirror your basically your phone screen on here um i don't really see why you would want to because it's kind of um there's already all the apps on there like youtube and stuff uh youtube does work if you're mirroring netflix does not work if you're mirroring it just turn black uh, the screen will just turn black it won't play so just a fyi um what else Oh, and for the powers to the speakers, they're actually okay, but they're they're not as strong as my previous stereo that I had in here. Um, in here, I will just probably volume up to, um, let's say volume is maxed out at 40, and I'll go up to 20, and it'll be super loud already. With this one, I could put volume all the way max, and um, especially when I'm driving like on the highway and stuff, you know, you kind of want to... Um, mute out the road noise and whatnot. I can have the volume all the way max um, Volume on my phone all the way max and I will still hear the road noise outside so it doesn't really get that loud but if you're just driving around town um, It will fit your need but if you you know if your car has a lot of road noise and whatnot uh, Then and you're trying to drown it out with music Then this is probably not the stereo for you because it's just it just doesn't provide enough um, power to the speakers pretty much so yeah all right so I just want to show you guys how it looks like at night so as you guys can see the screen is actually pretty bright I actually got a little cloth over it so you see the brightness is too bright so I got this little cloth over it just to basically hide um, 
the brightness or dim it down but you can still see through it at night it's just not that bright when you're driving around at night and this is the screensaver mode so it'll be like this to tell you the time and the speed you are going i do have a gps hooked up the uh, microphone on, on these suck um i tried talking on it on the phone with people and they just couldn't hear me at all uh they kept saying that it sounds muffled and distant so uh the factory microphone sucks um what else uh would i recommend spending um money to get this one uh probably not because I um, got cheaper ones in the past that actually way outperformed this unit. Um, if I were you guys and um, just spend a little bit more extra money and get the better Android units, uh, those would be more useful. And yeah, if any other questions, just hit me up, let me know. Um, this is kind of a short rev a review for this one, but I just figured I'll uh, let somebody out there know if they're just looking for, you know, like the basic of stuff and what to look into if they're looking for an Android unit like this. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.